Hey there, Wedding Confessionals listeners, it's Brooke. And Pam. Coming in just to remind you that this is actually part two of our fun uh, evening with Amanda Walker. So if you haven't listened to part one, which is the actual interview with her and learning about all of the fun trends for 2019 in weddings, um, hit pause and go back and listen to episode 92. Um, if you have and you're here for uh, episode 93, which is part two, welcome. Yes. Um, before we get into the show, we wanted to remind you guys about our sticker and photo giveaway. The way that it works is that um, go to any of your podcast providers, whether it's iTunes or Spotify or whatever, and rate and review us and subscribe slash follow whatever it is that you can do from your podcast provider to show us that you're showing that you're supporting wedding confessionals. So um, sometimes it's subscribe and hitting five stars. Sometimes it's just hitting follow or giving a plus a little thumbs up <laughs> from there. All you have to do is uh, get a screen grab and then email us that screen grab and your mailing address. Send that to weddingconfessionals at gmail.com. So shoot us an email. And um, in return, we will send you a sticker, a wedding confessional sticker. And also, what's the other thing we send them, Pam? A picture of Ruthie. A picture of Ruth. You get a. Everybody wants a picture of Ruthie. Everybody wants a picture <laughs> of a cute dog supporting you during your wedding planning journey. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, rate and review us, snap a screen grab of it, and then just email weddingconfessionals at gmail.com. Send us that and your mailing address, and we will send you in return a sticker and a picture of my doggy. <laughs> yeah, yep. And that's it. Let's let everybody get into um, part two of our fun night with Amanda, because it's hilarious. <laughs> yes. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Something borrowed, something blue. Give us all your juicy news, sensational, irrational. It's wedding confessionals. I think that we've gotten a good download. I Pammy. think so. You ready to go into confessionals? Sure. What are we confessing? Oh my god, I honestly don't know. Pam gave us these sheets, and I'm very excited. <laughs> I haven't read these. It's a secret. Are mine long? No, okay, just good. mine. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, two-sided. You're so fancy tonight. 2019. Save it <laughs> on paper. I like it. Um, so we're going to get a confessionals. Pam is going to read number one, which is, I mean, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six paragraphs. And they're big paragraphs. It's a lot. Okay. Yeah. I do. Rest up. Stretch up. Everybody. All right. Shoulders <sighs> loose. Yeah. 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 <sighs> okay. What's the little mouth thing you have to do to blah, blah, blah. What is it? The laurel lolly. What's the thing that actors say? Red, 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 leather, leather, leather. Leather. There's something about lollies or trolleys. I don't know that That's one. It's fine. Lorries. Something about lorries. Okay. It Lori. doesn't matter. I don't know that one. I'll Likes find out. The dory. <laughs> I like it. Uh -huh. Red leather, yellow, yellow leather. leather. Okay. Yep. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Dear Wedding Confessionals, just started listening to your podcast and I love it. I'm getting married in 10 months. My submission is a story and a question. That's why it's so long. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last summer, I was a bridesmaid for my cousin's wedding. When she asked me to be a bridesmaid, I was super excited, excited and I got home and I realized if I know anything about my cousin, this will be expensive. I have a few examples. A year before the wedding, the bride asked the bridesmaids if we want our hair and makeup done. She guessed it would cost about $80 each. We all agreed. Cut to one month before the wedding, and the bride sends a message to the bridesmaids, a message to the group chat saying we need to send her $200 each for our hair and makeup, not $80. Apparently, she signed a contract with these prices eight months earlier without telling us. So when some girls complained about prices, we were told if we wanted to cancel our hair and makeup, we need to pay the cancellation fee. We all got our hair and makeup, but I don't think anyone was pumped about the unknown price markup. The bride sent us for bridesmaid fittings at a little boutique store. At the end of my fitting, I got told I needed to pay $450 for the dress plus the additional alterations that were needed. The wedding was out of town. The bride let us know she wanted all the bridesmaids to share a hotel sleep suite to sleep the night before, and we all said, yes, that sounds fun. Not knowing we would all get a bill over $1,000 to split afterwards. There were a few other things that were just a ridiculous cost. We also took the bride to Vegas for the bachelorette, her idea, 
And we all had to take a week off to travel to her wedding and the hotel costs while there. Of course, I expect if I say yes to being a bridesmaid, I'm accepting that I will be spending some money. But when is it too much? When is it okay to draw the line? What's the normal and not normal bridesmaid cost? Because this was my cousin, I pretty much kept my opinions to myself. But now that I'm planning my own wedding, its destination, I can put myself in the bridesmaid's shoes and I'm paying for most of the bridesmaid's things. The devil on my shoulder says make my cousin secretly pay for all her own things in my <laughs> wedding since she's a bridesmaid, but I just can't do that. Thank you so much from Anonymous. P.S. You're my go-to podcast now. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, Amanda. Yeah. Mm. So many thoughts. <laughs> uh, $80 for hair and makeup. Don't, that's that's crazy talk. $80 for hair, $80 for makeup. So 200 is not that much money. 160 standard, easy. Right off the bat. But it is, it's messed up to not tell them in advance though. Totally. To tell people 80 and then later say 200 is rude. But what if she meant hair is 80 and makeup is hair? I mean, makeup is 80. Okay. You think it was just a misunderstanding? I think it was a misunderstanding. It sounds like a misunderstanding to me because anyone that thinks you can get your hair done for $40, we all know a blowout costs 50 you know, mm-hmm. I mean, even okay. if we don't get our makeup done, we do know that your hair is going to cost more than $40. Sure. I think that if that had been her only sin, we'd have been like, oh, communication error. Totally. But. 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 Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. This cousin's <laughs> bougie. Well, and that's sort of the thing to keep in mind. And it sounds like you, the 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 author of this can attest to is that you are mindful of other people's budgets Mm -hmm. because if everyone's really wealthy and money isn't really an object and it doesn't really matter, then that really genuinely doesn't affect you and you don't think about it in that sort of a way. But if anyone's living on a budget, obviously money is a big factor. Big deal. Sure. Totally. So this bride, not the person who wrote in, but the cousin, she's just rich, right? But not rich enough to just pay for everybody. Well, and that's the thing. (laughs) Like, even if you don't pay for everybody, if you know that some bridesmaids are financially strapped, then you offer them, I'll pay for your alterations. Or, you know, this is on me. That's on me. I know this dress is kind of pricey. You know, what can I do to help you? I'm not Mm -hmm. expecting you to endure all the costs, but I really want you in my wedding. Like, there's ways to go about it. I think that, what do you think, Pam? No, I agree. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. I kind of, because I'm so budget conscious, I really feel what this author is saying. Totally. And like, I, I really like the comment about secretly wanting the cousin to pay. <laughs> Pammy. <Bammy. laughs> well, I wouldn't either, but I like the thought. I would have the same thought in my I head. Agree. Is there a rule of thumb about how much this stuff is supposed to cost or how you're supposed to communicate. That's a problem. You're shaking your head. No, because it really (laughs) is different person to person, wedding to wedding, budget to budget, right? I mean, it's gone completely out of control. Bachelorette parties have gone completely out of control that now if you are getting in someone's wedding, you it's not just $500. $500. I mean, you're looking at two grand in cost, especially if you have to travel to it. Yeah. And that's that's crazy. I mean, you go on a bachelorette, like, great, we're going on a weekend. But no, it's not like, let's go to the spa and go to a bar. It's not even let's go to Vegas. It's let's go to freaking Cancun or Tulum or here yeah. or there or New Orleans. Like, it's not it's not just a little quick trip it's like let's take off work let's go big let's pay for crazy plane tickets let's go spend some serious time and some serious money that's if you have three if you're 30 years old you could hit plenty of those in one year yeah sure yeah you know and then who do you choose it's not fair well, I mean, it's going to come down to like if you get asked to be in a wedding, you almost want to ask, okay, what, <laughs> what where are you, entail? what are you thinking about for Can your I bachelorette job before I say yes? Yeah. Can I see the budget? That's what sucks too. It's <laughs> you want to say yes because you're close to this person and yeah, it's exciting and it's an and... honor and it sounds like so much fun in theory. But then afterwards, 
the finances start to become a reality. I think that one thing that can be learned in all of this is that at any moment that you feel uncomfortable financially in any situation in life, speak up. Mm -hmm. Communicate. You cannot go broke because someone else fell in love. That's not how it should work. And don't be embarrassed. No. You know? No. Yeah. Don't be prideful. It yeah. is what it is. If you're a school teacher, no one thinks you're a damn millionaire. Like yeah. we're, uh, and maybe it's just that she's not thinking of it. But the second you mention it, and it becomes her reality, what your reality already was, mm -hmm. then she can face it. Whether it's like, oh wow, you're right. Let's get like cheaper dresses, or I'll take care of it. Yeah. Because the backlash of you just saying no without giving an explanation makes you look like a bitch. Yeah. So it's better to be vulnerable and honest. If you're being asked to be in this wedding, you would hope that you are related to them or one of their best friends and that you can say, I just don't have money. Because if you don't and you're just like, no, I'm not going to be your bridesmaid, well, you might not even get invited to the wedding after that. Yeah. That's well, her, true. Her main questions are, when is it okay to draw the line? That's one of her questions. And I think it's just whenever you're uncomfortable. Always. It's always okay to draw the line in anything in life. Yeah. I think that the second that you feel like financially strapped or you feel like this is above and beyond what you were planning on, you're allowed to draw that line. Mm -hmm. The other question is what's the normal and not normal for bridesmaid costs? I mean, we're hoping it's 500, but it could be more. I'd say with bachelorette, you should be prepared to go in for a thousand bucks. It's fair. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And again, if that's the reason why you can't do it, okay. Mm -hmm. You okay. know, not the end of the world. And especially if you tell them that's why. And it's, you know, and then again, you'd be surprised. People are just like, oh, well, my dad will pay and blah, blah. You know, yeah, totally. When necessary, sometimes money can just kind of pop up. So um, I think being honest is a really big part of it. I think that you're already so mindful of this. And I think that your budget's very different from your cousin's wedding. So I think that the odds of you doing this to someone else is pretty slim to none. But I think the difference between you and the cousin, if you're worried about putting somebody else in this situation, is that you need to be upfront with people about anything you can about money to be like, hey, I'd love you to be a bridesmaid. We went to high school together. We're super close. I don't know what your financial situation is. I'm thinking it will, if you could just already sort of throw out numbers, if you get the number conversation started first, you make everybody else less uncomfortable about talking about it. Mm -hmm. That's true. I think if you make it cool to be like, let's talk about it. It's okay. Like, I'm not going to be hurt feelings if you can't, or let's figure out a budget so that everybody can so be included. can be a part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you're already mindful of this, but I think you sort of spearheading the tone for everybody else to be like saying topics that are about money are cool with me don't feel like you need to shy away from it please don't go broke because i'm in love which is literally <laughs> something that i told people multiple times because i had a technically a destination wedding it was in the middle of nowhere maine and yeah. i just told people i'm like i know that i'm asking a lot for you to fly across the country and it is not like you get off the plane and you're here you still have to drive a couple hours i'm asking you to go really far you're going to have to take off work. You know, it's it's a time and, and money commitment. If you don't want to go, I'm not mad at you. That's a lot. <laughs> and I genuinely wasn't. There are plenty of people that weren't able to come and it's chill. And as long as you're like that and you genuinely voice that, I think you'll be fine. And feel that. Yes. Yeah. You can't just say it. Yeah. And then be upset. You have to be okay with it. Believe it. Yep. Yes. I think that... Yeah, but it's good to know that that's what the price of the hair and makeup is. Yeah. So people could just know that. Yeah, I mean, count on 160 being your average. Okay. With tip or do you need to tip? You probably need a tip on top of that. Okay. I'm doing so math. so 200. you're close to 200 bucks. 200 yeah. bucks. Hair and makeup is 200. So that was right. And dresses roughly, bridesmaids dress? I mean, that's tricky because okay. a lot of a lot of brides are letting their bridesmaids choose their own dresses. Yeah. And I think that's a good idea because, I mean, I'm a big fan of knockoff dresses. Like, if I'm going to a fancy occasion, send me to that love couture shop that nobody knows and I'll go pay $30 for a dress that looks great for the night but isn't going to make it through one wash. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's a bridesmaid's dress. Yeah. Who cares? So, yes. you know, I mean... 
I think it's silly. I think it's silly to spend a lot of money on a wedding dress. So because you're really never going to wear that again. It's they're not un- even like the bridesmaids totally. where you can lie. They're yeah. uncomfortable. I think you should change. I'm a big fan of the change. Oh, change a different something yeah. else for the reception? Yeah, after the ceremony? Yeah, get comfortable. Get ready to dance. Yeah, and be able to sit in your chair and eat food yeah, comfortably. Like, like Meghan Markle. She looked great in that dress. <gasps> that was my that favorite dress. That was my favorite just, dress. Yes. The one the she wore in the car. Yep. She yeah. looked great. Yeah. Be so comfortable. Spend $50 on 300 bucks on a knockoff wedding dress. And your bridesmaids spend, you know, 100 bucks. Spend money on shoes. They're important. You'll wear them again. Boom. There you go. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. And then you get it's the happy tip. memory of always whenever you put those shoes on, you're like, oh, yeah, totally. it's the wedding. That's fun. Yeah. I like that suggestion. She dresses just for TV. <laughs> it's true. They're just for pictures. <laughs> just for pictures. As long as it photographs well, who cares? No one's going to know. Boom. True. I like it. The pro. I know. Number two. She, she gives good advice. She does give good <laughs> advice. That's why she's here again. Mm-hmm. Story number two. Dear Wedding Confessionals, my husband and I married in 1992 in Wisconsin. We had seven attendants. One of mine was my cousin who had recently divorced. After the rehearsal dinner, we went out for a few cocktails where my cousin proceeded to get plowed. Okay, does that mean drunk? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, because I know it is having sex, so that's okay. (laughs) No, I'm glad we cleared that up. Um, (laughs) I checked out early, headed back to the hotel, and left her for others to worry about. Okay, so the cousin is a girl. Got it. The next day while getting ready, she was noticeably absent. My mom and bridesmaids were freaking out. As this was before cells, we couldn't really contact her. I just chose not to care. (laughs) I was getting married about 30 minutes. Yeah. Before the ceremony, she comes blowing in (laughs) green to the gills, hungover as hell. (laughs) During the ceremony, she had to sit down due to nearly passing out. Before dinner, we did a little bar hopping as is Wisconsin, as it is Wisconsin. After all, do we have this conversation with someone else who got married in Wisconsin where they bar hopped? Sorry, get it back to. And she picked up where she left off. That was Ohio. I think. Oh, okay. So apparently, the Midwest, you guys are into this. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I'll reread that sentence. Before dinner, we did a little bar hopping. It is Wisco after all. And she picked up where she left off the night before. After the first bar, one of our groomsmen picked up a Packer helmet and everyone begins chanting, Davy, Davy. Come to find out, she hooked up with a Green Bay Packer the night before. Oh, my God. (laughs) I'm so glad I don't read these in advance. (laughs) None of this would have shocked me until she um, and said helmet groomsmen went missing during the reception. Yep, you guessed it. She also hooked up with him while his girlfriend was dancing. Oh, my, oh my God. They continued to meet on the sly for a oh. year afterwards from Gotta Love Family. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> so, wait. The night before she got married, her cousin hooked up with an NFL player. Mm-hmm. <laughs> named Davey. <laughs> I'm or, finding. I mean... Oh, she thinks she changed the name. It's possible. I want to look up to see if there's a Green Bay Packer whose last name is Davey. From 1992. Yeah, we could do a little, a little internet. You don't, you don't want to look into the internet to find out what sure. this guy looks like. I'm <laughs> curious. Let's see if she had beer goggles or not. <laughs> NFL, NFL. Oh my gosh! As we learned tonight, you're a big <laughs> sports fan. We can't, we can't get into it. <laughs> Long oh, story geez. short, all three of us think the Patriots. Like, this is really fun because we never know. What do you think? I don't what? think they're gonna win the Patriots. I don't think the Patriots will win the Super Bowl. Well, what's funny is that we all have significant others who are Patriot fans. Mm-hmm. But all three of us are realists. Yes. <laughs> Welcome, I, welcome to our football podcast, guys. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. It's so stupid. It's done. They're done. They are. It's I, not, I this can't is wait not for their this year. To, to age badly. This is not their year. Oh, <laughs> just Tom saying. Brady. That wedding. Are there any pictures? I feel like I don't know anything about the just. I know about their marriage, but I don't think I've seen pictures of their wedding. I got to look into that. I think they had several. 
They had several weddings. I think so. Oh, because she's from Brazil. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm in for that. She seems fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, number three. I mean, what else are we going to say about this? It's wild. I think you said it all. This is crazy. Yeah. I love it, though. This I mean, is just a fun story. I love that you wrote in, and I I mean, your cousin's wild, and you know. <laughs> where I is listen. she now? Can you write and tell us where she is now? Yes. Follow up episodes. Follow ups. Yep. Please tell us where your cousin is now and what NFL player she ended up with. (laughs) Maybe it's a hockey player. I don't know. It's cold up there in Wisconsin. Okay, Amanda, you go in next. Mm. Okay, number three. Dear Wedding Confessionals, my friend is getting married and throughout the whole planning process, she had mentioned she does not want strippers involved at the bachelorette bachelor parties. Well, I was talking to some of the groomsmen and they mentioned still involving strippers at their party. Should I tell my friend about it about it, or let them have their fun? Also, let me mention my friend has said she would consider calling off the wedding if strippers are involved. She hates them. From a concerned friend in South Carolina. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of Who's all, getting- the first question for all of us is, because I think we need to establish this. I love strippers. Are you fine? I'm fine with strippers, Pam. I'm, I love fine. strippers. Yeah, like Men, women, like lap dances. It's fine in my. I don't. I, I mean this in the nicest way possible. It, I don't care about strippers. It's fine. It didn't bother me. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Um, in general, I just feel like you know, as long as everyone's a consenting adult and everyone's having fun and no one's being you know uncomfortable, fine. That sounds fine. Um, but her question is more so. The group of dudes are like, to let's tell or not to tell. Let's, yeah, but it it doesn't even sound like the groom even know it's ha- knows it's happening, right? It's just the or does he? He knows he's not a dummy. He's marrying her. No, if but, she has this big of a problem with strippers. He knows. Yes. Yeah. And I he mean, knows to tell his groomsmen, do not do this. I mean, there's a difference between I spend every weekend in the strip club and that makes my wife uncomfortable yes. versus it's sort of a dopey, dopey a rite thing. of passage that is sort of a little bit historical. And, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, who cares? I do know times it has uh, ended poorly. Oh, I mean, it does happen. It's not a myth. That's true. Sure. Sure. But, sure. but if you are not secure with the person you're about to marry to get drunk with his friends and go to a strip club, then don't marry him. That's all I got to say. True. But we're, we're talking to the friend. So she's got the question. Does she say anything? Yes. Yeah? To the groom. Oh. Boom. Okay. Put it on him. Yep. If he refuses to tell her, do you just step away? If he goes through, that's his choice. She, she, The friend goes to the groom and says, look, you know how yada, yada, yada is going to feel if there's strippers at your bachelor party. I hear rumors there's going to be a stripper. You know this is going to really hurt her. Fix it or don't, but I'm just reminding you on the way that she feels about this. That's it. Done. It's all. It's his point. It's his problem then. If he goes, eh, no, it's my right. Da, 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 da. No woman's going to control me, whatever. But then you're just lying. Yeah, it's weird. She's lying to her friend. No, I'm saying oh. that he's lying to her. The groom would be lying to the bride. And yeah, it's but like, then also that's lying? a weird place to be as the friend. Because you're yeah. like, I said something and he still did it, but not even my friend doesn't know. And then if she finds out that I knew and... True, it's tricky. But... It's... Yeah. This is... Okay, so you're leaning towards I should be telling her. What if, no, 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 I'm just saying you're kind of like, you're throwing that out there as an option. Like these are the, the, the merits for telling. Sure. That you want to be honest with your friend and honesty is very important. Correct? Honesty is important, but also not meddling is very important as well. I, totally. I am on this, I am leaning towards um, Amanda's idea of 
confront him, remind him of their relationship, and then kind of step back and let them kind of do their thing. Because at the end of the day, it sounds like you don't think strippers are a big deal. You're Mm -hmm. just concerned that your friend does. Right. And one of the ways that you can minimize her fears and minimize the importance of this, which it sounds like you were kind of like, eh, you know, you go to a strip club. It's not the end of the world. Like, it's a fun little raucous night out. Like, let's let go of our puritanical nature of being Americans. Like, calm down. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) So it's like you're just going to be the the grown up in the room that's like, calm down like he didn't cheat on you he doesn't have a secret girlfriend there's no secret baby they went as a group of dudes as a group it was like he snuck off on his own like it's fine like relax it's a bachelor party like that in my mind it would be like i didn't think to tell you because i didn't think it was a big deal no you think oh look at your face pam's like no that's how i'd feel about it be like oh whatever (laughs) that's how you'd spin it and I would call bullshit. You would call I'd bullshit? be like, you know how I feel about this. <laughs> Should we role play? Yes. <laughs> I'm the casual cool friend that's like, let's go back to the beginnings of Americans when the white people moved in. <laughs> you also have to consider age. Mm-hmm. You're talking to a bunch of women that are a lot older than You've probably. Lived. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's living and it's. You see how much certain things, like, it's just not a big deal. But put me back at 26, my opinions might have been totally different. Hmm. I still like strippers. I was going to say, I'll still chill with strippers. (laughs) I mean, I still like strippers. But would I want my fiancé, would I have been comfortable with it? I don't know. And really, what that would have to do with is my self-confidence in myself and Mm -hmm. my self-worth. Yeah. And so... That's why, you know, with age comes seasoning and with seasoning comes self-confidence that just isn't always there in your 20s. What if you did kind of like what? Remember when um, a much deeper problem we had was we a couple weeks ago. Remember we had Julia mm-hmm. on? Uh, Julia Holmberg was a, a, a guest on our show and we had a listener that wrote in that said that she was a bridesmaid or maid of honor. I don't remember. Yeah. And basically the bride had been continuously cheating on her fiance forever and they were about to get married and she said should i tell you know how should i do this and this is a much lighter version of that but one of the options that we threw out there was you go to the the groom and you say listen i'm gonna tell her either way about the strippers i'd rather it come from you yeah you have 24 hours (laughs) clock starts now (laughs) <laughs> so you give him the opportunity, but in the end, if you feel like you have to be good to her. But also, are you going to do this like after they Pros do before it bros. or before? I mean, and then you're that friend. Then you're that friend that he never wants to be around because you're a bitch and da 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 da. <laughs> and basically, <laughs> he, bra- he breaks up your friendship on purpose with her. So. Be- oh. The, the dude the dude does because now he doesn't like you and if it's uncomfortable when you're around then he'll never hang out with you and her and then that turns into a whole nother issue blah 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 blah. so basically we have to give we each have to give her an answer what would you do i would tell the groom give him the opportunity to fix it and then i'd probably tell her after the fact if there were strippers Hey, I talk, I I heard a rumor. I talked to him about it. He chose not to. So it's just a double fuck you. Think about what you're doing. But I wouldn't tell her until something really did happen. Because why am I going to go and do that when it might not even happen at all? Yeah, I stir change things his mind. Up. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't Pam, stir the pot. Would you do the same thing? I like that. I like that plan. You're going to do that too? Because you're covering all your bases, you know, you're, you're saying something, but you're not really stirring up the pot too much. Um, But then you're also being true to your friendship to your girl. Yeah. Good luck. I'm dying to know what happens though. I know. You have to write us back. Totally. Yeah. I hope that, and I genuinely hope that the couple kind of works it out. Is it on the same page? This doesn't end in a fight. I think they will. I don't know why, but I think they're going to fight or they're going to work it out. There's capital letters on hate, on hate. You know, she hates them. I don't know about, you know, changing her mind on 
liking a stripper. Well, then Just she saying. needs to know if he's going to if the if he's going to keep a lie all the time, he's going to keep lying and going to be weird about stuff. What else is he going to lie about? Mm-hmm. We could also use this opportunity to educate her on not slut shaming women and their choices of work. <laughs> Worst. Stripping ain't easy. I, I'm just gonna get off my little liberal soapbox. I mean, okay, I've been on that pole. I've been on that pole, and it's hard. It, it looks is difficult. Not for money, but just for fun. Like physical. It's you got to be so strong. A lot of core. Yeah. So much core. Yeah. And then you just got to be confident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now that we've gotten through all the confessionals, <laughs> we're gonna go learn to be strippers Pam's and like, make our extra money. It's early. That? Let's go to the you club. You chose this story for us to we- read. I had no idea it was you going put all over. Me the place. and Amanda in a room with the topic of strippers. strippers. <laughs> True. On that note, I just whenever I see a stripper, <laughs> the only thing that goes in my mind is I'm like, God, I gotta go to the gym. <laughs> What just went through my mind is, God, I hope my mom doesn't listen to this. (laughs) (laughs) Whoops. We can edit it down. We're going to cut it down a little bit. It's all good. (laughs) Pam's like, this show has gone off the rails so hard. (laughs) So now that we've done confessionals, are you ready to go on to bridal break? Is Pam going to come back from this? We've lost Pam. Only Amanda and I will be giving bridal breaks. Bridal breaks to any of our new listeners oh are <laughs> um, suggestions we give not only to brides, but anyone helping to plan a wedding of fun things that we can do to enjoy our lives instead of planning weddings or getting upset about strippers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pastrami sandwiches. <laughs> so Pam usually gives a cocktail. Um, I usually give a pop culture something, and our guest, I mean, it is TBD. I don't even ask. I'm not of, sure what's coming ask today. Ahead of time, but now yeah. I don't like to because I like the weird things the that surprise. come out of their mouth. Yes. Okay, so Pam, do you want to go first? Yes. Okay, so today's bridal break I found on the cookierookie.com. And since it's January, so it's New Year, it's also my birthday month. I really, this one sounds really good to me. It's called a pomegranate champagne sorbet recipe. Ooh. Yes. So it's made with champagne, sugar, corn syrup. You're basically making the sorbet with champagne. Okay. Um, and then adding the pomegranate juice. So that's why you're, you're just adding so all the ingredients So sorbet to is just sugar? Sugar and juice, oh. basically. Yeah. I didn't know. And frozen? I knew. Then you Ooh. freeze it, freeze it up, and um, and then, uh, but it's also made with champagne, so you're just getting all of those flavors together. I like that. Yeah. Let I me see a picture. That. I it know looks... that podcast can't, but I just want to see it. Cute, served in a cute little martini glass or a margarita Ooh, that glass. Is fun. That's fun. Let's see if I have a better. That looks better. It looks like dessert. Oh, I mean, I love pomegranates. Oh, yummy. Yum. Mm-hmm. Good choice. Yep. Amanda, what is your bridal break for the week? Bridal break. Dun, 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 dun. My bridal break. <laughs> it's just a song. It's just a song, guys. <laughs> My bridal break is treat treat yourself, you know? Have some sex. Have your <laughs> significant other, you know, go downstairs for a minute. Or if alone, you can always use the shower. Get yourself a good detachable shower head and just get into it because it's it's all good and relieves stress increases blood flow you feel nice and relaxed after take a nap and then get back to your business i love that i always put links in the show next notes to everyone's <laughs> bridal breaks and mine's just gonna be to a shower head <laughs> <laughs> detachable shower head i love it party for one it's the party for one <laughs> That's a new Carly Ray Jepsen song, by the way. <laughs> Party for one. Now you know what it means. Yeah, it's great. I'll link. I'll link that <laughs> link too. That, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I love for her. Doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so mine is um, uh, a topic that actually came up, kind of a heated debate we were having before we started the the podcast. Um, I know it came out around October, and everyone else has blasted through it, but I'm just now starting to get into Sabrina 
on Netflix. It, but it's not just called Sabrina. It's called The Adventures of Sabrina. Something like that. Right? So, um, What is it about? Okay. So the same producers that did Riverdale, which is Greg Berlanti. He does a lot of stuff. But the style of Riverdale, which is on the CW, but also mm-hmm. you can find older episodes on Netflix. That idea of everything being from like the 50s and early 60s, that, that vibe. But everything else is really kind of modern. Um, they're doing that for Sabrina because Sabrina's in the same world as Archie Comics. So Riverdale sort of like that same world, but there's a supernatural edge to it. So I watched three mm. episodes with Tristan and, um, oh, the the writer and singer of our theme song, Andy. Oh, yeah. So Andy, Tristan and I get together and watch Riverdale and now we're watching Sabrina. And we were kind of like, I don't know. We got to episode three. I don't know if I'm feeling it. And Amanda walked into my life and said, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fantastic. So this is where you have to pitch it from here on out. Don't give too much away, Amanda. Sabrina, it's a beautiful use of cinematography. It's gorgeous. Costumes <laughs> and colors. and No, but the plot line, I think that uh, what she's saying is is that they were still kind of figuring out how they wanted to go, so they left it very ambiguous, and then it just starts to get real, real. And it's humorous, but it's also scary, but it also like keeps you hooked. It's not what you expected from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Not at all. Yeah. I mean, already episode. I will say three episodes in. I definitely. So didn't is it the see same story? The like line. that's who it is. Yes. Yeah, Sabrina okay. the Teenage Witch. So it's a witch sort of situation. But I can't say too much because I don't know enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but um, she's yeah. half witch, half mortal, if like you, Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh huh. So if you liked, um, if you liked Harry Potter, you might like this, but it's definitely for the older crowd, not for children. Yeah. Um, and um, if you liked Riverdale, it's sort of got that same vibe. So it's kind of fun and sexy, and you know, kind of ridiculous. You know, over the top, beautiful um, lighting and visuals. I'm already enjoying it, and I'm glad to know that my fears of it getting kind of like <sighs> things not getting resolved. You're like, no, 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 stick around. Stick so I'm excited. It. If you started it, stick with it. I think it's I think it's worthwhile. Now I like supernatural things, but if you're that type of a fan and you can appreciate like the look of the way things are shot and you want something fresh that you don't usually see that's kind of refreshing, mm-hmm. watch Sabrina. And also if you've already watched it this is a little bonus. We found out, you told me that there was a holiday special. Christmas, well, winter solstice. Winter solstice episode. Winter episode. Yes. So if you haven't caught that. Watch it on the 21st, our winter solstice. Nice. Oh, nice. I, I'm going to try to catch up so I can watch. I don't know. I'll never catch up. Who knows? We watch <laughs> it too slow because I have to wait till everyone, all three of us are available. It's only seven hours. You We're can do it. dumb. <laughs> anyway, so that's my bridal break. So the Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix. Nice. And that's it. That's it. We Yay. did it. So Amanda, fun. you so did it fun. again. Oh. The dog is currently Oops, on your... I did your, it again, you know? <laughs> the dog is currently on your lap, snuggling. Yeah. Um, uh, tell us all about your company and how people can get in touch with you. Well, you can find me on Wedding Wire, which is your easiest way, probably. Um, on Instagram, we're at salt underscore and underscore sparrow um, or saltandsparrow.com. Uh, check us out. We are busy, but still have a bunch of dates available for 2019 and we're running holiday specials. So up until Easter, we will be having discounted pricing. Oh, good to know. And you work everywhere. I work everywhere. I got a lot of destination weddings and we'll go wherever you want. That is good to know. Do it. I like it. She'll give you, she'll, she'll come in with her cute jacket on. <laughs> she will not be in a pencil skirt and no. dumb heels. Nope. No, 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 no dumb heels, but we'll have fun. <laughs> All right, Pammy. Yeah. You ready to tell everybody more about our show? Let's do it. Okay. We do it in the form of a quiz that has not changed in the new year. Um, let me grab my board. Clickety click. Here we go. Okay. So for the listeners to know more about our show, Pamela. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to quiz you. You ready? Mm-hmm. We have a website where you can find more information about our show. What is that website? Weddingconfessionals.com. Correct. On that website, you can find show notes, fun pictures, also links to our social media handles. Where are we on social media? You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, and Pinterest. We want you to send us your confessionals. We do. Send us your stories. There's three different ways. The mm-hmm. first is an email address. What is it? Weddingconfessionals at gmail.com. We make it very easy. <laughs> <laughs> there is a phone number. Not as easy. You can leave a voicemail there. Um, we transcribe it. We don't have to use your voice. It's totally anonymous. We change the names. Let's see if you get the phone number. You're starting to get the phone number. I know, but I'm just kind of drawing a blank right now. So, What is the phone number that you can leave us a voicemail? Pammy. 434. Yes. 933. Yep. 2663. Why don't you believe in yourself more often, Pammy? You're <laughs> so know. smart. Give it to me again. 434. Uh-huh. 933. Yep. 2663. Boom. Boom. New year, new me, <laughs> new brain. <laughs> <laughs> new Pam. Um, the third way is to go to our website, which again is... Weddingconfessionals.com. From there, you click on a tab, which is... Tell us your secret. And what do they do once they're at Tell It Your Secret tab? Just tippity tap your story. You don't have to uh, leave a name. Give us something fun. <laughs> Tell us your story, your rant, your question, and uh, hit send. Super easy. Very easy. No email needed. No phone number. Just no. your drama. Um, <laughs> we want you to rate and review and give us five stars everywhere, like iTunes, Spotify, blah blah blah. Yeah. As we mentioned in the beginning, if you do it and send us information about it, you will get a picture of my dog. And a sticker. <laughs> oh, Ruth. Oh, Ruthie coming to us with these little very believable barks. <laughs> Besides Apple Podcast, we can be found on a bunch of different podcast providers. We have a new one. Yes. Our new one is Tune In. Tune In. Tune In is a new podcast provider that we have just got linked up with. So on the list of them, Pam, they mm-hmm. will go between Stitcher and YouTube. It's fine. You've never gotten that far before, so it will not mess you up. It's not going to be an issue. <laughs> Besides Apple Podcasts, Pam, what, um, in alphabetical order, what yes. other places can you find our podcast? I love this so much. Yep. Um, Castbox. Yes. Castro. Yes. Downcast. Yep. Google Play. Uh-huh. iHeartRadio. Yep. Um, Overcast. Yes. Player FM? Yep. Podbean? Pocket Cast. Pocket Cast. Pocket Cast, yeah. Podbean, Pod Paradise, Pod Tail, Podcast Attic, Podcast Land, Podcast Republic, Radio Public, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, Tune In, Tune and in. YouTube. And that's it. Woohoo. Amanda. Hi. What is it. all that stuff? So many places. The internet is big. I Who know. knew? Yeah. I, I didn't even know podcasts existed on that many different forums. Yeah. There's probably more, but that's all I know about. It's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> well, I think it's time to say goodbye. All, all right. Sad. Thanks for coming back. Thank Thanks you so much. Me. And Pammy, I'll see you next time. All right. Bye. 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 Special thanks to Andy Schreier for our adorable theme song. And David Kantrowitz for our fantastic logo. And Ramsey Millette and Brian Maylard for their technical support. If you want to learn more about our show, where you got to go, Pam? Check out our website, weddingconfessionals.com. That's it, girl. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.